Welcome to another episode of the Think Grow podcast, where personal development meets real life. I am your host, Ruben Chavez, and I normally explore a variety of topics with thought leaders, creators, scientists, entrepreneurs, and all sorts of interesting people with the goal to bring you different perspectives you can use to enrich your mind and improve your life in whatever way you see fit. Today, I wanted to change it up a bit and give you just a shorter episode, some food for thought as you head into the weekend. And I wanted to read you something that I was writing about a while back in the notes in my phone, actually. I I often use the memo app in my phone to kind of sort out my thoughts about things. And the other day, this was a few months back, I came across a familiar phrase that I'm sure you've heard hundreds of times and so have I. And it's the phrase, fake it till you make it. You know, people say fake it till you make it when they want to convey this idea that you should be something that you're not until you actually are that thing. And I think sometimes that gets misinterpreted. And I wanted to sort out my thoughts about this phrase. And and that's what I wrote about and what I want to read you today. But um, as with many of these kind of pithy maxims, these axiomatic um, sayings that that are kind of catchy, often we need to think a little bit more about what they mean and unpack them a little bit in order to extract the value from them. So that's what I did with this phrase. I'm going to read you something that I wrote and I hope you like it. Tell me what you think. Leave me a uh, comment on Instagram. Leave me a review on iTunes and it will let me know if you like this kind of content or not. So here goes. You've probably heard the phrase, fake it till you make it. I actually agree with this advice, but with one caveat. Don't fake the superficial stuff. Fake the meaningful stuff. Don't fake the money. Don't fake the accomplishments. Don't fake the ego. This is a horrible waste of time and energy, and it gets you nowhere. Instead, fake the consistency. Fake the work ethic. Fake the action. See, for many things in life, pretending is actually just as good as the real thing. In fact, for some things, the difference is indistinguishable. And this is a somewhat surprising and interesting fact, I think. Courage is a good example of this. You can't tell the difference between someone who acts courageously and someone who actually is courageous. If they both run into a burning building to save a child, both are heroes and both are considered courageous. So, This observation might lead you to ask the next logical question, which I did, which is, what's the difference then between someone who we consider to be quote-unquote real or authentic versus someone who we consider to be quote-unquote fake or inauthentic? Well, when people label others as real or fake, I suspect that they mean something like this. If who that person believes they are matches up with their behavior, then they are quote-unquote real. But if who that person believes they are does not match up with their behavior, then they are considered quote-unquote fake. But see, I think this is a completely silly and arbitrary way of judging authenticity. Why should we first have to view ourselves in a certain way in order to start behaving in that way? The answer is, we don't. Take a concrete example like work ethic. Faking the trait of work ethic implies that you don't currently view yourself as a person who possesses this trait. Otherwise, why would you need to fake it? But here is the million dollar question. If you emulate the behaviors and habits of a person who does have great work ethic, is that faking it or is it the real thing? Point being, it's not necessary to view yourself as the person you want to become before you start acting like it. Instead, act like the person you want to become now. (music) 
Hey, thanks for listening to the Think Grow podcast. If you enjoyed this episode and find value in this podcast, I humbly ask you to please subscribe and or leave me a review on iTunes. Or you can just share it with a friend who you think might find value in it. If you've already done any of these, I want to take a moment to sincerely thank you. I truly, truly appreciate your support. Lastly, if you have any suggestions for future guests or topics you'd like to hear covered, you can email podcast at thinkgrowprosper.org. Thank you.